Dan, nice to meet you, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. I'm Jake. Yeah. Jake. Will. Will. And John. John, very, very nice, nice to meet you. you. Are you guys from Philadelphia? Yes. Uh, no. No, I am not. We are not. I am not. Okay. Where are you guys from? Uh, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, Amish country. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't come by buggy, did you? I, I hate to say I did come by buggy. Actually. <laughs> did you park no, it just, somewhere? <laughs> yeah, I had to park it in the garage. I mean, it's, you can't park it on the street anymore around here, so it's kind of Are you feeding sucks. the horses? We don't want you to get yeah, a ticket. Yeah, no, yeah, we have to, I mean, it's extra money. They have to, like, go out and uh, feed them every, uh, I think it's like 40 minutes because, you know, they got to eat. PPA does that? Like yeah. they come around and feed Yeah, them? it's crazy. I didn't it's, know I they mean, gave it, that service. Yeah, the, the love here for Amish is crazy. It's it's that's awesome right. around here. So that's, a, that's another reason why Philly is another great place. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what brings you guys to Philly? Uh, school. School okay. for us. School. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're here for school. Okay. Any program in particular, like uh, that? You know, Philadelphia is known for or you dentist know? dental school for us. Dental yeah, school. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So okay. We, we're working with the teeth. We love it. Human so. teeth or horse teeth? <laughs> um, for me, honestly, both because okay. you know I got to take care of my horses because you know uh, teeth health is uh, just as important as regular health. Okay. So, you know, just okay. gotta focus on both. How about you? Well, just regular. No, demons? just just regular. I'm not out in Amish country. Okay, okay, you guys are both going for dental. Yeah, yeah, yeah and he is, too. he is too. I'm going for next year. Okay, wow. So how do you guys have no like? Nobody here is grossed out by being in somebody's mouth. Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. It's, it's good weird. money being a dentist. Yeah, right? it's really it's really chill as well. You get to meet the patients, talk to them a lot. Okay. And, uh, yeah, get to know them. I always wondered what do you have to choose? Like, I, I growing up, I went to a dentist that was like in a basement, right? He owned oh, wow. the house, and he was like that. His practice was in his house. Right? Yeah, he had, yeah, like, yeah. A nice basement. It had like four rooms, an X-ray machine. You wouldn't know the difference, right? Other right. Than, like. He lived upstairs, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. But like, I I've driven around Philly for years, and there's a few of them like that. You know oh, there's I mean? a lot. Yeah. So like, and you don't see doctors like that, right? Like, no, where it's you're really like different. Showing up to your doctor's office, and you're like, all right, go into my basement, guy. <laughs> no, yeah. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> oh yeah, it used to be like that. I swear, but I feel that's another reason why I chose it. Honestly, it's a lot more chill. You get to like, I know with doctors, it's like you got to join this big hospital or do whatever. Right. But for Dennis, it's a lot. You can like, make create your own practice. You don't have to always specialize. It's really relaxed, and uh, I just like the chill lifestyle. And overall, like, you really get to know your patients as well. I like to socialize with other people, so I know right, that's right. that's what goes for a lot of these kids Absolutely. too as well. So are you yeah. guys gonna be the ones that like try and talk to you while we have our mouths? Oh, one hundred percent. One hundred percent. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be like while you guys like just like doing whatever we gotta do. I'm gonna be hoping to see you talk to me as best as you can. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Now, are you guys like? gonna do like orthodontistry normal cleaning like uh like surgical i have no idea yet okay so uh, once we go through school okay probably figure that out yeah for me uh i was i always wanted to do orthodontistry but you know it's you gotta be super super smart and i'm not that okay so uh <laughs> i think general we'll start be sick with general dentistry for now for jake though well once i start school i guess once i'll take their answer i'll figure it out okay i thought that I always wanted to do orthodontics just because of my own experience and I wanted to give back like that. Okay. But after we did a pre-dental program at Temple and I had so much fun in the specialty clinic, the pediatrics clinic. Okay. I just, I felt like I could really make a difference there, really make a difference in these kids' lives because for me, I was a complicated patient. Okay. So if I can give that kind of story and a positive experience back, I consider it a win. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. So like, it, I, I really want to ask you these guys because like, one of the big questions I ask people is if they think college is a scam, right? And not on the aspect of, like, how much money it costs or, like, what you really get out of it. But, like, in a lot of other countries, right, you go and you train in your profession a little bit. You learn if you actually like doing it. Like, you guys are pretty much decided you want to be dentists, right? And my next question is kind of going to be, like, what makes you sure that you're ready to do 12 hours of dentistry a day or 40 hours a week, right? And be happy. Where mm. you're, That's, like... Like this, this is my, if I didn't make any money doing this, I would still do it, right? Because I yeah, like doing absolutely. it, right? So like- It's passion. Right, and, and I, I value that sometimes college is a scam because we send kids away to college for like eight years, 10 years to get your doctorate or, or become a lawyer, right? And then you get there and maybe you don't like the sight of blood or right. you don't like to read or stay in a courtroom, yeah. you know what I mean? Mm. And then you're stuck at like 30K in debt or 300K in debt and you have to go to this job or be homeless you know what i right, mean yeah. so and i find that it only not only scams the people but like when i i go to a hospital a lot like i ride motorcycles so 
uh, I'm constantly injured uh, in accidents and I can value like in doctors you can see doctors that love their profession and right. the ones that went to school and they're just a doctor now yeah. right like mm -hmm. ones that like I can be like so is it cool to ride around with my broken foot like this <laughs> yeah, and they're true. like what, what's wrong with you no oh, yeah. or like yeah dude do whatever you want I'll you know I'll be here next week I don't care it's just like a whole mental anguish right like of exactly if it sounds like you guys all know you want to be in this profession right what has assured you that you want to become dentist, right? What, like, how old are you guys? 23. 23. Okay, so it's still rather young. You've never jo done a job for more than 10 years, right? Where right. you're like, I hate this fucking job. Uh. I will do anything. I will fucking work at Wendy's before I right, come back yeah. here tomorrow. What, do you guys ever think about that? Like, the fear of, like, I might get in 20 years and I might want to become a bartender or, like, a photographer or yeah. a limo driver. Like, right. do you guys ever cross that mind when you're signing that <laughs> college debt paper? Exactly. They, you know I mean? they give a lot of precautions for that. So you have to go and do, make sure you serve and do hours. And so you get you get your full experience um, to make sure it's something that you want to do. Okay. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's kind of just got to stick with it. Okay. Okay. I'll go. I have to be honest. I want to answer your qu first question at hand. Is college a scam? And I'll continue into what you just said. Okay. I don't think it should cost that much money. In today's world, for example, I went to the University of Delaware. Okay. If I remember correctly, tuition, room and board, everything all in was maybe thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 a year. Okay. But I, as an out-of-stater? Yes. Okay. I think that's astronomical and a little unrealistic to expect 18 to 21-year-olds, that kind of range, to shell out that kind of money. Especially if you do the research in the past, I don't know, 25 years, the the price of college has gone up, you know, that much money. And just for the piece of paper that yeah. says, not only, like, it, it just tells an employer, like, they will show up, yeah. they will complete a task, mm -hmm. and you can depend on them, right? Exactly right? However, I have to say, I am thankful for the experience I was able to get, okay. because when I did this pre-dental program, this is how we met, by the way, in a pre-dental yeah. program at Temple. Okay. I was able to use some of that knowledge that from that coursework that I took in undergraduate to actually move forward and succeed in the postgraduate career. Okay. So that I can say I was happy with, the price I can say I was not. So as is it a scam? Financial? Yes. Okay. Experience? You can't, like, to me you can't get it anywhere else. <laughs> Especially, um, for example, I have a twin. My sister is a photographer right now. She's working for the Pittsburgh Steelers. That's cool. Had she not gone to college, she never would have had access to those internships, the to professors her, who can network, right. everything, who could have gotten her where, to where she is today. So you're paying for the networking, you're saying. That's where the value comes in, is that networking, those connections, just like frat houses and fraternities. Yeah. For some of exactly that, I absolutely right. do agree with you, yes. Okay. Now... I, I often think back to like Ben Franklin, right? And like the designs of schools and community like outreach and, and teaching, right? What if it was more of like, you know what a tech school is? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. What if it was more like that, right? Like you, you had to do two to four years for your country. So instead of saying, all right, we'll lend you 30 grand. They say, okay, you have to give us two to four years. Just yep. the college, right? But we're gonna train you. You get to pick your, you know, just like the military, you can pick what you wanna train in. So dentistry or a doctor, but we're gonna train you to be a functioning, providing member of society. We're gonna take you to, it wouldn't be, you know, you don't get to pick like Drexel or Temple or, you know, Te uh, Johnson or Jefferson, I mean. But like they put you in a hospital or a dentist, you know, big conglomerate office and they teach you, right? And they, yeah. we have half the population, I want to say, is probably on either medical uh, state, you know, state med care or, or welfare. So like all those people are already getting free health care and free benefits. Those could be your patients, right? That the government is paying you to learn on under supervision, of course, right? But like you would leave that two to four year program with no debt, with experience, with those connections, right, that you've made in that program and through that time without the burden of college debt for the next 10 years of your life or, you know, the worry of, like, for me, I never went to college because, like, my parents were like, we'll pay for you to go to college. And then I went to all the colleges, figured out this is the one I want to party at, right? I <laughs> said it wrong to my parents. I was like, this is the best party school. That's the one I want to go to. And they're like, you just want to go to their party. And it's like, 
well, I mean, I got to go to college, so I want to enjoy my time, right? right? Absolutely. And then they revoked their statement of, we'll pay for your college. So I went and got the loans, and I was like, oh, I ain't doing that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like, the financial burden scared me away from school, yeah. right? And, right? And I could have paid back. I wouldn't have gone for a doctrine, right? I would have gone for communication or something in this field. Mm-hmm. So it wouldn't have been any, anything more than a car, right? One yeah. year of what you said Delaware was. Mm-hmm. So nothing crazy, but, like... It limits, and I can only imagine it limits so many other yeah. people. Like, I'm sure that same thing limited you. Like, if you guys, I don't know, what's the premier school for dentistry? Like, Harvard is for law school. What's, like, the Michigan. best? Michigan. Michigan. Did Michigan. any of you guys want to go to Michigan? No. No. No, no after uh, after our program here, we kind of fell in love with it. Okay. Yeah, so it money, it, money wasn't a factor? No. 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 Okay. No, no. Okay. And I have to add a tidbit on there. We're a Penn State family, at least my family. Okay. So although my, not although my cousin did attend Michigan, you know, we have a couple generations of Penn Staters, so okay. I can never. I can never. Okay. Uh, okay. So what is one thing you're excited for, like, post-grad? Like, are you guys going to get your own practice or kind of go in, <laughs> like, a co-op practice? You guys start. Honestly, for me, like, a practice, owning a practice is the main goal. Uh, owning it with like these guys right here that would be amazing okay. honestly it just depends on how our like how our past lead us to that kind of thing and where it takes us but overall you know just owning the practice like it's my goal whether I own it with like other people I meet myself or with other like these guys right here it all just depends on the next four years and how it goes so overall though owning practice I think is the most important part you know having that name under you having your own patience but yeah I don't know Absolutely. if the same for you guys though but go for it Will I'm just gonna see where it takes me okay this guy just has well, an open I, road he has I, an open road I have no restrictions on anything I want to do that's good just wherever falls it falls and then for me I've got two goals start next year and I really just want to give back I want to do this to give back Okay. Like for me, it's not about the money; it's about giving back. So, Making would you an impact. would you like travel the world and, and do like the UN does like um, first care responsive? Like That'd be I know cool. they do like yeah. the cliff lip, like where they yeah, cliff like, lip stuff yeah, yeah, for yeah. free. Yeah, that's, I feel like that's a huge thing to do. I mean, for me too, it's just like giving back to the community. And I know like a lot of my friends, uh, family friends, they actually volunteer like free clinics and stuff. And uh, it's like one of my goals to like kind of do that. I mean, I'd even do it like once or twice a week if I had the time to like really get back and um, to see the people. Like overall, the main goal is just to see it smile on the face of the patient, seeing the end result and everything. So like no matter if it's in my own practice or in a uh, free clinic, doesn't matter. I'd, I'd be willing to do it. There you go. I, I know point. like I there's a lot of fields in, all over the world that like and, and countries that you could go as you stand today mm-hmm. and to walk into a clinic in like a third world country and they'd be like you're almost doctor status right <laughs> like yeah. get on in here exactly. we needed you yesterday you know what yeah. i mean and you can like make huge leaps not only in knowledge but like your field and like giving back like you want to do um in places that there it's not so saturated like here there's a thousand dentists in philly right right like, there's a lot maybe kenya maybe 20 or 30 you know right. what I mean where like that's crazy to think about it my numbers are probably way off right but you know um, it's just wild to see so is there one piece of life advice you guys could give to anybody out there watching because from what I, I, I talk to a lot of people right and it's not often that people are this sure of what they yeah. want to do in life and you guys are signed on that's a it's a big thing right uh, just gotta embrace yeah. every step you know wherever I, it's kind of how I've gone through is just wherever I wake up and go that day is what happens and okay. I follow my gut okay. so that's a good way to live yeah huh? Jake you want to give your advice oh, so interesting I've never been asked this question before okay I think I would say <laughs> try not to overthink everything it just creates more problems you most people were raised to know the difference between right and wrong and be able to go with their gut yep do that follow through Yep. And put your whole heart into what you do. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I would say just for us doing the program is don't give up. Because for us, like, we didn't go straight into dental school. We had to do, a, like, a separate program. Okay. And half of us didn't even know if it would be, like, the same. Like, we didn't get the scores and everything. But just continue through with it. Whatever your dream is, just don't give up. Yeah. If you have that mindset, 
Just keep with it and don't give up. No matter how long it takes. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, thank you guys. I appreciate you. you sitting down awesome. and taking the time awesome for us. You. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And I, I hope, you, you know, the best luck in all of your future careers. Absolutely. And I mean, you're really helping out the public. Yeah. You know, I hope sure. so. Yeah, in the next four years. Yeah. Dan, nice to meet you. Kiefer. Kiefer. Aaron. Aaron. Chase. Chase, very nice to meet you, gentlemen. Nice to meet you. Are you guys from Philly? No, we're from no. Ohio. I'm from Ohio. Ohio. Yes, sir. Toronto. Toronto. New Jersey. Okay, okay. What brings y'all all to Philadelphia? We um, play on the, we play on the, uh, what's it called? The buttons. bowling team. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is that a line of bullshit? Because <laughs> it took you a minute. <laughs> we play on chestnut. Yeah, we play on the golf team. We play on the golf team. team. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Now, did you guys all play golf before coming to Philadelphia? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What made you choose a Philadelphia golf team? Um, it was for me. It was the coach. The coach was. The coach was a great guy. Okay. He's a great guy. Great guy. That's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, did you guys all meet in Philly? Yeah. No. Yeah. We oh, met yeah, like yeah, yeah. two I, weeks. I met, a, I've been here. We met two weeks ago. These okay. two guys yeah. are brand new, and I've been here first semester. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, we all met each other. So, what's your first like kind of a uh, feel of Philly? The vibe. Great city. Um, yeah, I, great love city. I love it here. Okay. Yeah, I'd say great city. <laughs> I, I had a few rough experiences. Good bar scene. Yeah, rough experiences the first couple nights, but you know we're we're getting into it. You know? Okay, okay. What was uh what was one of those rough experiences? You uh, you cool to talk on it? It, it oh, seems like uh, your friends got, are dying. He got, he got a parking ticket first night. Duh. That's it. Yeah. That's, no, no, that's no. Philly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I I lost my real ID and my debit card. Oh, yeah. It sounds like it's like you're living the Philly experience. Yeah, and got, <laughs> and got uh I supposedly permanently banned. From, from a, what? From, from a local bar. From, from a, a bar? bar? Did they take your photo? It, no, they didn't. Okay. But it's because they found my real ID in there. Uh, oh, okay. Did they keep your that ID? <laughs> so, you know, I went back there the other day and they, somehow they knew my name, but they didn't have my photo. They didn't have my His wallet. wallet with me. <laughs> Just uh, a okay. dickhead. Yeah. It's still <laughs> fresh though. I'm sure yeah, if you yeah, wait yeah. like a year, oh, they yeah, may not, they you yeah, know. Yeah, we'll, we'll get, we'll get It's going. like the second drinking weekend this town's experienced, yeah, you know. They, yeah. um, He's the first. So what's your favorite aspect of Philadelphia so far? I love, I love just like the people. Like there's just so many people. The okay. women. The, the women. women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm a big sports guy, so I like I like having the buzz that's, of all buzz true, of all actually. the sports teams here because the they haven't great. they haven't been to a game yet. But I've been to a Sixers Knicks uh, playoff game, and I okay. went to a, a Phillies Mets game, and that's electric. It, it is. Uh, they had the the Brazil game right yesterday. The Eagles were playing in Brazil, right? That's yeah. wild to think about. They fly the team out there <laughs> yeah. and play some no, football. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, so, what is one of the craziest things you've seen in Philly so far? Seen anything crazy um, two weeks? So, so, I saw this this just drunk guy at a bar spilling drinks on women and shit. Like, purposely? Like, yeah, like, no, purposely. And, like, it was just the craziest scene. I, like, I, I, I'm from Canada. I don't see that shit in bars up there. No, I've never seen no, a kid like, get that drunk, you know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, is it, like... Do people binge drink less in Canada? Uh, I think we start when we're younger, so okay. we know when we know the limit. Know by the, the limits. time we get to the bars. I, you yeah. know, the craziest thing I saw was uh, homeless people begging on the highways. On the highways, <laughs> they were 95. on the highway. Okay. Uh, he can he can vouch for me. All yeah, right? they okay. were. It was, it was impressive. They make it everywhere. You'll yeah. find yeah. them. Yeah, and I saw everywhere. they were just passing their, their AC vent around. <laughs> Ripper, I mean, to each other and shit. So. <laughs> so, is there one thing that you've like heard about Philly up, that bro? you're like excited to up, experience? Bro? Uh, wait, what was yeah. the question? What's, up, bro? Up, What's the question for the day? Dan, uh, so the current question is: there anything that you kind of want to experience yeah. that's a Philadelphia thing that you haven't gotten the chance course, to do yeah. yet? Of course, it's a threesome. I never put <laughs> hey. two bitches at the same time. But I'm is that a Philly really thing? It's a Philly thing. Me too, bro. No bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> My name Cotto. Y'all niggas, y'all be, y'all boys have a great night. <laughs> Females out there, if there's two of you watching at the same time, yeah, help that man out. <laughs> that is unbelievable. <laughs> He's just in uh, the streets, <laughs> looking for a threesome. <laughs>
That's one way to do it. <laughs> yeah, dude. You never know what you'll find in the Philly streets. Yeah, honestly. You know? I think that's the that's the great part about this city. You just can't really no, expect No, the greatest what's part about this city is the people who run Benny's Pizza on that corner. Benny's, Benny's Pizza. They are great people. Unreal. Okay. What makes them unreal? They remembered the my name. They remembered okay. both of our names. Yeah, they're great. We were there for probably two nights and they remembered they our They remember names. our name every time we go in there. That's really nice. Yeah, it makes it like a personal bit. Like, I'm sure they get thousands of people a day. Probably not. No, it's probably pretty, it was, it was packed when we went in there today. Yeah, they, yeah but you nice. guys are, you're, they're major, like, money maker. The college kids coming back into school, coming to drink and, like, eat, like. Yeah, they're just. Three weeks ago? This time of night on a Saturday, not this busy. It's true. You know? Like, I've seen probably 500. It just seems like a good time. <laughs> People. Oh, God. So, hot topic. What's the best bar to drink on the street? Pitchers. Pitchers. Pitchers is a great I, establishment. I <laughs> Shut up, Chase. <laughs> Pitch, Pitchers is a great establishment. What makes it a great establishment? They don't tolerate young drinking. Yeah, they don't. <laughs> okay. <That's great>. Okay. <laughs> they did though. When when did. when underage people get in the bar and drink, do you think it makes it like sloppy in the bar and like? Oh, a hundred percent. But that's yeah. what makes bars. But that's fun. It's a college town. I. Yeah. What are they expecting? Right. 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 Do you think drinking should be illegal and weed should be legal? No, I think I think well, weed Ohio, is the Ohio worst drug ever. Ohio, it is okay. legal. I would say fentanyl is probably. Weed is legal. Weed's Ohio. just a terrible okay. drug. I know it's not here, right? It's le it's illegal here. Yeah, but they sell yeah. dispensaries. Yes. Well, like medical. medical so so it's just, it's not just weed is years. fully legal in Canada, and it just leads to a whole different gateway of drugs. The cocaine's legal in BC now. Okay. Really? Yeah. That's wild. So it's just it it it, it spirals quickly. <coughs> Have you ever smoked? No. 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 Okay. So I, I I grew up in like the outskirts of Philadelphia, and, and all my friends uh, growing up were a little bit older, and they were addicted to the hard stuff like okay. heroin, which is um, terrible. To boxing, I had a friend that would just if anything he could get his hands on, he would shove it in his mouth or into his body. Um, and, uh, you know, I've always liked the weed. I think weed is like, I've bartended, I've managed bars. I, I've never seen, I've smoked somebody up for the first time and them cry. Like just cry like a little baby. I don't know what about, just, you know, and then back to normal in five minutes. You know what I mean? But I've seen people drink alcohol and then get violent. Oh yeah. Like just like a snap of a finger, like just ready to fight whatever yeah 100 percent. have you ever experienced anybody like that on weed because yesterday i asked no. the same question and somebody said they get mad on weed I mean, i've experienced it i think drugs hit people differently depending on the person okay different things affect different people in very different ways like one person drunk they're going to be happy one person's going to be like the i love you bro all that stuff and then the other one's going to be like i want to fight someone Right. So I could. I mean, I, I I agree with him. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be the same thing with with, with every drug with every person. Do you think the world would look a little different if all the drugs were regulated and illegal? It like, would look terrible. Like weed, oh, alcohol. Every all drug the, is legal in no, BC, the, and no one wants to go. No, there No, I mean anymore. not legal. No, like I'm illegal. saying illegal. illegal. Oh, like no bars, no the like would dispensaries. Look, it'd also be a lot less fun. World, there would be a lot less funny people. So, uh, I, I question that. Why do you think it would be a lot less fun? Just because there wouldn't be need, the people. Yeah, you don't need running shoes to run, but it helps. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So, if there weren't bars, do you think there would be more different uh, options? Like, maybe rock climbing gyms, bowling alleys, dart facilities? I don't even know. I think there would be even new things. Like, new activities to do as a community on a Friday I night. I agree. I agree. I think I think stuff like escape rooms and rock climbing and a little bit of golf. A little bit of golf. There's a lot of drinking golf. There's a lot of drinking golf. But if you get better then you don't have to drink. I, I don't drink during golf. 
Um, okay, because you're good. Yeah. But I, I think, I do think smaller things like escape rooms and, like, it'd be more popular for sure. Do you think the community would be healthier without bars? Like, do you Scientifically, think... Scientifically, yeah. Like, alcoholism, DUIs, like, that kind of stuff? Do you think if there was no establishment yeah, think, to do... I think drunk driving is the same as first-degree murder, even if you don't kill someone. Okay. I think it would decrease crime and stuff like that in the community, but also... How are you supposed to cope? Yeah? I guess, yeah, that's my answer, just how you're supposed yeah. to go. Yeah, okay. So a little bit of a switch. What uh, what attracts you first to a woman? Like when you see a woman in a bar, what pulls you to a chick? Blonde, Blonde hair, blue eyes. Blonde hair, blue Blonde eyes. Blonde hair, blue eyes. <laughs> I'm a big personality guy. <laughs> how do you see the personality from the room? Just because of that room? answer, I'm out of here. It was a great time, <laughs> man. Thank good. you. Blonde hair, blue eyes. Very nice.